But yeah, fuck all that. I know why the fuck you bitches joined. Let's not let's not fake the fake. Let's not fake the fuck. Let's be real here, <laughs> okay? <laughs> let's be fucking real here. Yes, it's really the drama t for me. I'm waiting for all y'all comments to come. Like, yep, drag me, drag me, drag me, drag me. Go ahead, like, drag me, like. But y'all don't know shit. <laughs> y'all don't know shit is what I gotta say. Like, the comments, y'all are way off. Like, y'all really don't know shit's not eat. Like, y'all know nothing. Y'all know nothing. This is how I always act. Full of energy, literally always. But listen. Excuse me. That was that wasn't very classy of me, was it? <laughs> but y'all, like, I don't even know where to start. Like, first of all, me and this girl fell out weeks ago. So why the fuck? <laughs> why the fuck <laughs> is this on social media now? Everybody in the comments saying I brought this to social media, social media that, this, that, I came to social media. That's fucking false as shit. She's trying to paint this narrative that I came on social media and started talking about her this down there. First of all, y'all, everything I post on social media, this girl makes it about her. Like, if entitled was a word, like, that's what it would be. Like, I post a TikTok about me going in the house changing my shoes. This girl make it about me trying to change my shoes because I want to fight her. Like, huh? Like, what? No, I did not start it. Y'all want to know why we fell out? We fell, and I have messages and everything. I just really don't want to, like, make it that. Because if I really put my side, like, everything on, like, y the story will be flipped. Like, I really don't even know where to start. Because I truthfully don't give a fuck. Like, this girl done went live about me 10,000 times. Like, went live about me made tiktoks about me this girl was posting shit on her fucking close friends on her story before we even fell out if that don't give you social media clout 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 then i don't know what the fuck i don't know what the fuck does and i'm like huh and i screenshotted everything bro i screenshot everything bro this girl was making posts about me before i even said shit this girl like what the fuck like this girl like really is trying to spin this and make it seem like I'm just this bitch. Everybody know me. If people who know me in real life, IRL, in real life, know that I'm not no cocky ass bitch. I'm humble as fuck. Let's start there. Let's start there. I'm humble as shit. I don't give a fuck about the money. Been making money since I was 15, 14, and was never the type to brag or flaunt it or make it seem like I'm better than anybody. So let's start there. Second thing, let's get into this whole family threatening thing. I didn't even know that my siblings sent her anything until she got on live telling everybody stuff. Like, I didn't even know they went out of their way to text her. Like, I literally did not know that on everything. Stacks of Bibles. I did not tell my family members nothing. Nothing. I did not tell them nothing. I never told them to go text her, harass her. Like, no, like that got nothing to do with me. Like, but it just looked like I went to send my family. Over. Like, I didn't even know that they texted her. Like, what the fuck? And y'all, like, don't lie. I ain't lying about shit. I really don't give a fuck. Y'all can believe what y'all want. Happy birthday. Someone said it's their birthday. I don't care. Like, I don't care. Like, what the fuck? And I ain't making no fucking video. What the fuck I look like making a video? That's exactly what she want. <clears throat> It has everything to do with you. It literally doesn't. I do not talk to my brother. Me and my brother don't talk. I don't talk to my brother. I don't. My brother saw that she was on Instagram talking shit about me. Literally trying, like, every day you're going live about me. You're posting stuff about me, like, every day. And I'm not saying shit to you. I'm not saying shit to this girl. I haven't said shit to this girl. Nothing. So if a family member outside looking in, they see you trying to drag their sister, of course they're going to say something and jump in. I did not send them this tell her to fuck whatever the fuck the conversation was i'm like what the I fuck not, i did not tell him to go text and harass that girl like what the fuck and all y'all kids in the comments like like just mm, in the first place y'all i'm literally so confused like on some real stuff like i'm so confused because we fell out two three weeks ago and i told her not to bring nothing to social media i said i would hope 
you have enough sense not to put this on social media. I told her, never posted nothing about that girl. So all y'all saying I went to social media, I'm a drama bitch, I'm a victim, all this, da, 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 da. I never went to social media about this girl ever. And I told her not to fucking go on social media about it. But she did. She'd been going on social media about it before we even fell out. All right, literally. So after that, I see her posting all this stuff on social media, posting slick shots, like, going live. And I'm like, what the fuck? What the fuck? Like, so I texted her. And people in my comments, people in my comments just coming at me, coming at me, coming at me. And so I was confused. Like, I was thrown off guard. Mind y'all, once we fell out, I blocked her. I had nothing else to say to her. Blocked. Like, I have nothing else to say. I blocked her. So, I texted her. I texted her, like, why are people in my comments going crazy? Like, going crazy, like, doing all this rah, 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 rah. If I didn't go on social media about you and I didn't say nothing about you, like, I'm confused. And this bitch gonna send me a gif. She gonna send me a gif. Laughing. That don't even make sense. Because if I come to you as a grown adult, a woman, I feel like I'm more woman than her, first of all. Let's start there. Because she wasn't even grown enough to have a conversation with me about how long she wanted to stay with me. That's how we fell out, if y'all want to know, like, to be honest. But she sent me a gif. So, y'all, before I try, before I even took anything on social media, which I don't even think I took anything on social media because I have not made a post about her or nothing. So... <clears throat> So you sent me a gif when I try to confront you woman to woman and you can't even have a conversation with me. But I see what you're doing. Who's Riz? Exactly. Exactly. Why, I sh why I'm never going to make a video about you. Ever. I, I think there's other ways that I can handle this situation. But I'm going to talk my shit. <laughs> I'm going to talk my shit on live. But boom, so I got enough people in here, so let's talk. Let's talk the talk. Y'all want to get into it? Let's get into it. So boom, while we fell out, I texted her one day, and I was asking her um, what I, oh, her plan was to move to ATL. That's her plan, move to Atlanta, da, da, da. I don't know why she was moving to Atlanta, but I supported it, like, I supported it. I didn't have an issue with you. I'm like, okay, period, like, ATL, oh, ATL, ATL, oh. ATL, that was me. And so I texted her and I asked her, I was like, so, um, like, do you have your apartment? Like, what's T? Like, do you have your apartment? Like, how long do you plan on staying with me? Like, I just wanted to know her plan, for real, for real. And I'm going to just show the messages because I don't even want to cap at this point. <sighs> Didn't come at this girl sideways or nothing. I said, I'm up thinking like i don't know if y'all can see like i don't know why it's not like whatever anyways this is the messages right didn't cut this girl rude or nothing y'all can read i'm not fucking reading that shit because i don't really care that much hopefully i read that part fast enough next this girl gets defensive she's getting defensive start texting me with periods Boom. I say communication is going to be key throughout this entire process. Keep it going. Like, y'all can read. Y'all can screenshot. Y'all can do what y'all want. I'm not going to keep, like, read all that. So, after that, I tell this girl, she said, also, where this coming from? Like, she just getting defensive because I asked her a question. Like, I asked her how long, like, like, what's her plan for Atlanta? Like, what do you like? What's your plan? And then she got defensive and said, also, where is this coming from? It's texting with periods and stuff. I said, don't take it like that. I'm just asking the question. I literally was up thinking. Uh, I was literally up thinking you would want to know my plan if the roles are reversed, right? I hope so. Just a conversation for real. I feel like we should be able to have these adult conversations without it being shady in the periods and stuff. Y'all telling me, y'all telling me to turn the comments off. I'm not dragging her. What the fuck? Y'all talking about she didn't drag me. She didn't drag me. This girl went live about me three, four times. What you mean she didn't drag me? She brought my nigga into this. She brought my other friends into this to have nothing to do with this. What do you mean she did not drag me? 
fuck is you talking about? Like, what? 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 Anyways. Back to the back. So, moral of the story is, I asked her a question when she was moving. Like, I was asking her what was her plan for Atlanta. Like, did she have a move-in date? Like, what was her plan? Like, what was her plan? She did not have a plan. She was just planning to move to Atlanta and stay with me without getting an apartment. I'm sorry, but me as an adult, I have a boyfriend that's already living with me. I just don't understand why I need an extra person living with me if they don't have a plan. Like, started acting weird. She started posting, oh, you're going to lose a lot of friends on this journey, this, down the third. She just started posting hella stuff about me, like, hella stuff. And we're still friends. We literally went out the same night, and the, the girl left me for a nigga. And you want to make this about leaving people for niggas? You left me for a nigga the same night. You left me for the nigga the same night. It's just a lot of stuff is not clicking to me. Like, I'm really confused. Like, I'm genuinely confused. Like, I'm still trying to figure everything out because I don't even know why this was brought to social media. Like, I told you not to bring nothing to social media. I didn't make no post about you. And I would say this because y'all keep bringing up me saying um, every time, I, me posting, every time I turn around. Every time I turn around, it's an old person trying to copy my lifestyle. Respectfully, am I lying? Like, I'm sorry, if you like, if you don't see, if you don't see, like, the patterns, like, if you've been watching me and her for years, like, you would see the patterns. So many people have warned me about this girl before this. Like, I knew, like, I literally knew this was going to happen. My mom told me, my, like, everyone told me, like, Everyone told me. And y'all want to keep talking about posting them, deleting. And that whole messy mosh thing was not a fucking about her. Like, what the fuck? Like, why would I go on messy mosh? That's not even tea to me. Like, that's not tea to me. Like, going on messy mosh, live to, like, spell, spill your business about you, like, falling out with your best friend. That's not really tea with tea for me, like, to me. That's not tea, like. I had no tea for messy mosh. I was just making a TikTok to make a TikTok. Like, I'm confused. She's your best friend, and is it a crime to stay with you, girl? You talking about the bill, but, like, that's your best friend. That's not the whole problem. That's not the issue. Like, that's not the issue. She could have stayed with me. That wasn't the problem. I just wanted to know how long she was staying with me because I already had someone else living in there with me. Like, people don't even know who the fuck I'm talking about. I don't even know why I'm fucking giving light into this situation, bro. But you live with her and she can't stay with you for a little bit. I never said that. I literally never said that. I literally opened. Like, I said, you can stay with me. Like, you could have stayed with me for three months. I just wanted to know that. Nigga, I just wanted to know that. But she didn't tell me nothing. Like, like what the fuck? Like, I don't see how y'all see how that's the problem. You could have paid back the favor. Y'all are tripping like big shoes. To be like, they're tripping like big shoes. I'm not talking to shit. This girl sent me the longest essay, like, trying to paint me as this terrible person. Like, we're not in a relationship. Why do you care so much? Like, I'll be the victim. I'll be the villain this time. I, can I don't give a fuck. I don't care. Like, I don't care. I'll be the villain. Like, y'all giving that girl exactly what the fuck she wants. Like, y'all tripping like big shoes. Yes, the voice notes. Those wasn't. I sent her voice messages because I was not finna text out a whole essay. Up here. No, I'm not. I know I'm not wrong. Like I know I'm not fucking wrong. This girl caused a problem with me because I asked her how long she planned on staying with me. The fuck answered her question like an adult. Don't get mad and run with it. Like that don't make no shit to me. Like what the fuck? I cannot see her comments. Like I can't see no comments. Like y'all ain't heard. Like I, I can't. I'm not primarily in the wrong for shit. Like, I'm not in the wrong for shit. I'm all about taking accountability, but I did not do shit to that girl. I did not do nothing to her. I asked her how long did she plan on staying with me, and she got defensive. I asked you a question, and even that, I told you, it's nothing like that. It's just a conversation. As best friends, we should be able to have this conversation. So how is somebody giving you all of this? 
and you're still like you're just trying to pick a problem like i just asked you a question like what the fuck and if you felt some type of way you should have told me you felt some type of way and i don't even know why there's monsters in my life like get off of my life what the fuck get off my life you're weird as fuck and then you like bro you're weird as fuck the first second this girl got she went to social media bro like what the fuck what the fuck and i just turned 19 i don't give a fuck she's two years older than me i don't give a fuck I just turned 19. She's going to be 21. Y'all keep trying to say, oh, that's nothing. Da, 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 da. I don't give a fuck. I'm not in the wrong for shit. Like, I'm really not in the wrong. Like, I can say, in this situation, I'm not in the wrong. In the wrong. If I would have really post everything and do all that, y'all would see. But I don't give a fuck. Like, I don't really care that much to do all that. I'm not making no video. Y'all gonna believe what y'all wanna believe at the end of the day. All I wanna say is that I did not send my brother to text her, harass her. Like, that had nothing to do with me on stacks of Bibles. I didn't even know my brother texted her until she went live telling the whole world that, that you know what I'm saying? He texted her, like, I did not know that. But I, on everything, I didn't know that. When I found out about that, I cursed my brother out because I'm like, what the fuck? Like, you're making this stuff worse. Why would you even do that? And y'all keep commenting, does Jack pay rent? Does Jack pay rent? They, does Jack pay rent? I wonder how y'all even know that there was a period of time where he wasn't paying rent. Because my so-called best friend went on the internet and told my business. How do y'all not see that? This girl told me. Lying. Imagine. A oh, fucking imagine. And I'm not going back and forth on the internet. If you want to get in the field, we can get in the field. Because I don't have, like... <laughs> if you're not going to get in the field, don't say shit else to me. That's it. That's all. Like, I can't see none of this girl's comments. Like, what the fuck? I'm messy. I got to be the most messiest, unmessy bitch I know. Because no business. Why my boyfriend go live? Car. You don't have a car. Do you have a car? She didn't tell my business media about me for so fucking long like literally like what the fuck and the same niggas in these comments y'all was the same motherfuckers in her live and her comments gassing this shit up like it's funny or something and they want to keep saying i'm a bit like i'm beneath you beneath you bitch you will never be in, be on my level in your life humbly fuck is you talking about fuck is you talking about what are you talking about? I'm not telling that girl business. I'm not saying anything about her. And I can't see her comments. So, like, her commenting is useless. Like, you're watching me and you will continue to watch me. talking to nobody one-on-one i tried to talk to this girl one-on-one and she sent me a gif how childish are you sent me a gif if i were to really make a video and, and explain everything i wouldn't be the one that's getting all the, the hate comments i'm just saying that but y'all right i'm gonna end this live i'm not saying nothing else just know everything that that girl said was fucking cap cap out of your mouth you're a liar you're a liar you're a liar and i know the truth so it doesn't really matter like it doesn't really matter it doesn't really matter i texted her tried to have a conversation with her and she sent me a gif so who really is childish and y'all keep saying jay falls out with everybody she's the problem i don't fall out with people people start shit with me and i cut them off like what the fuck don't you get i was on her live because people were sending me that shit Somebody sent me her live at 5.09 and said, oh, Charisma's live talking about you. And I read it at 5.46. The girl was still on live. This is my first time going live. This is my first time going live. First time. But she want to make videos about me, act like you this godly, holy child. Like just, I'm not perfect. Like I know that. Like, But God don't like ugly, and God knows my heart. So I really don't give a fuck. Like, I don't care.
I don't care. And I can take accountability. I just know for a fact I did not do shit not wrong to that girl. I asked her when she was what, what was her plan, and she took that around with it. So you're upset because she moved to ATL, but I don't see the problem. I'm not upset about that. What the fuck? What that guy do with shit? She's not even in Atlanta. I don't think. Like I, I'm confused. I didn't even tell y'all nothing. Like, she told y'all what happened after we fell out. Like, the social media post. She didn't, she not talking about nothing. Like, I can't see her comments. Y'all just at her and stuff like that. Like, I don't ghost at this point. And then I commented on her live. This is your 10th time going live about me. And then she gonna respond. Yep, it's gonna be the 11th after I post this video. How do y'all not see what the fuck is going on? Like, I don't even understand how the fuck y'all don't see that. And I'm really not going back and forth for her. Like, she can go live as many times as she want. This is exactly what she fucking wants. I've been this girl's best friend. All this girl want to be is be with the influencers. Like, that's all that she want to be. Like, all she want to be is be with the influencers, bro. Like, I know you. You can't lie to me. Not lie to me. Like, you're literally doing this for clout. Rizzy, just fight her at this point. We can get in the field. I've been said that. Everything is always about court, girl. Get in the field, literally. Riz never disrespected my name. She called me a bitch. Her video, she repeatedly said, y'all are going to realize and figure out that that girl's a bitch. She's a bitch. She's a bitch. She kept repeating, I'm a bitch. I'm a bitch. I'm a bitch. Y'all know what this situation reminds me of? Y'all remember when Bank A was like, I just never liked your vibe. Like, this is literally giving me that. Like, how am I not that? I'm not your cup of tea. Like, girl, what are you talking about? <laughs> what? What are you talking about? I just feel like, at the end of the day, social media is fake. Y'all don't know nothing. I genuinely know I can say it. All I've been was a genuine supportive friend. Never been no hateful, envious type of bitch. That's not even in my soul, my heart. And ain't nothing victim over here. Like, I can be the villain. I don't care. Like, I could be the villain. I don't care. <laughs> you literally said your own mom is jealous of you. Like, huh? What are y'all talking about? Bro, I wish this was a prank. I'm so confused. And then y'all, bro, y'all are just some kids at this point. But at the end of the day, I don't give a fuck. Kiss my ass. Still gonna watch me.